part two. And welcome back to my Bug Realms channel. I am Bugman Sam. Now we're going to be doing part two of our coffee table enclosure, which I've decided to make a bioactive setup. Now originally I was going to show you how I was going to layer the substrate and so on in there, but I've changed my mind. Part two is going to cover creation of hides. Um, if you haven't seen my bug, bug decor video, I will post uh, a link in the description to that. Check that one out first. Um, it will give a bit more of a detailed plan of what we're gonna be doing today. Um, what we've done so far is I have hot glue gunned a few flower pots together. So this is going to make like sort of multiple hides in one. And then also, also had, this was pre-dried for me. I don't know the exact method of doing it. I'm sure there's a YouTube channel out there somewhere to show you but I had a butternut squash pre-dried and hardened ready there. I chopped it in half and I cut out a little hole here. So we have one nice hide there and the other half I'm actually going to attach to somewhere on the flower pot. Okay guys, unfortunately things didn't quite go to plan. Uh, um, I couldn't film myself doing this. I was gonna do it in a time lapse. But um, my can over there of expanding foam, uh, it had hardened. And I was trying to chippy out all the little bits that were stuck in the nozzle so that I could work it again. But what happened is I accidentally snapped the nozzle, the compressed air shot off in my face, and uh, the foam started coming out and was unstoppable. I could not fix it to stop it. So I had to just quickly hold it over the top and get as much foam everywhere. Loads of it got absolutely wasted, so uh, I couldn't quite get the detail done and everything as much as possible. But let's just have a quick look. I got, I think I got enough on. So there's one part, another part there. We still got the tube came out nicely. And if we come around the back, we've got the other flower pot here. I mean, there's gaps, it's not perfect, it's not fully expanded yet either, but you know, I, mistakes happen in the hobby, and that was one. So, rather than me scrapping it all, trying to get it all off and starting again, and trying to film it like more professionally for you, we're just going to go from here. So, we have got the last of the expanding foam kind of smothered over the top really badly, but next we're going to get to... Um, the carving part, which is probably the most important part. I think if you watch my bug decor video, you can see how we put foam just going around every nook and cranny that we can. So I'm just gonna skip along to the carving now. And now we're just gonna go over the top with some silicone. And now we get the fun part of covering it with substrate. So I've got a big tub of cocoa fibre mixed in with a few other bits. We're just gonna lob this on top. As you can see, I've got a bit of like tarpaulin down just to stop it from going all over the floor. Some people prefer to do this actually in a tub. So you just chuck it on, pat it down. I know the lighting isn't very good, but I will show you how it's gonna turn out afterwards. Just keep tossing it on and patting it down. Now this method will work with various hides. Again, check out my bug decor video if you want to see what we've made before. You want to do this also for the silicone, silicone cures. So there we have it guys. We've got our bog standard butternut squash hide that we're leaving like that. And then here it is, the finished project. So this is a four way opening hide. I've stuck a bit of branch or twig in here. So we've got the two quite open ones. We've got the hidden hide 
for ones I want to keep her a bit more secretive and dark. We'll spin it around, keep going. We've got different textures here where we've left the holes in for the inverts to climb on to feel more natural. And we've got the fourth and final hide there. I did want to have it a bit more enclosed around the rim, but as you saw previously that uh, I didn't have much luck with the expanding foam. But yes, you can kind of enclose it in a bit more if you want to. But yeah, you guys tell me what you think. The hide for our communal setup. So that's it, all done and dusted guys. Excuse the fact that I've got a change of clothes. This did take a course of a couple of days because I had to wait for the silicone to cure. Anyway, so we have done two hides today. The very simple butternut squash one chopped in half. Use the other half to create the hide that you just saw just now. Um, I hope you like this video. I enjoy creating this one. Uh, so this is the second part of the coffee table enclosure. So this is the hide that's going to go inside. Um, and then we'll wait for part three. So thanks a lot for watching again, guys. I hope this video wasn't as long as some of my previous ones. You know I'm trying to keep it down. But if you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit the like button for me and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about it all. Thank you and take care.